It's been really awesome coming here to Central Asia and learning about the people here and God's been teaching us so much. I've learned a lot about like, materialism because I realize I have so much stuff that I don't really need and don't use and then people here are living a lot more simply and they're doing great with just what they have. So from this experience, I really learned that when you put everything, all your trust in God, everything's gonna be possible. All the hard work and labor we went through, all the cement bags we had to carry. At one point, I just thought we were gonna fall off the big mountain of cement bags that we had to make. And I just thought I couldn't make it, but just a quick prayer to get through it, and God really pushed me through it. And I, I really thought like we'd be engaging like in all non-believers and like kind of put me like hesitant, just because like I thought it'd be like really hard, but like. I met a lot of believers who really encouraged me and like although they can speak much English they, like one guy in particular wrote it in mud saying Jesus is my life and that really encouraged me and um, that really gave me a heart for the nations and uh, I would kind of really want to do this for life uh, somewhere in Central Asia I feel like God is calling me. Um, and this journey was just the best thing that's ever happened. I think one of the main things that I learned through this experience this year was that sometimes doing mundane work doesn't feel like you're doing a whole lot. Obviously, you feel like you're just doing the same old thing. And you don't feel like there's a whole lot of fruit that can come from that. But I've learned that through the work that we did through the park, laying cement at a local guy's house that we really bless them a lot. And so even though sometimes we feel like you're just mundane, the work that we're doing is gonna bless people, even though we may not necessarily feel it at that time. So it was a good lesson for me to learn that even though work is doing this labor intensive work, we're blessing a ton of people. Uh, so it, that was one of the main things that I learned through this experience. One thing God has definitely shown me on this trip is uh, to love one another through his love and by his love because um, the local girls that we got to hang out with every night, which was uh, one of my highlights uh, because we actually got to hang out with them for a full three hours almost every night. But uh, just the love that we got to share with them because a lot of the, the local girls didn't really know each other that well and they didn't hang out with each other and so by sharing our interests we got to um, we got to have them make new friends and start to love one, one another which is really important I think in order to build relationships. One of the things that God's been teaching me this during this time here is just to rejoice always and that was really difficult during some times because a lot of what we were doing was physical labor and they would plant thoughts in my head like why did I come all the way across the world to pick weeds and chuck trees and stuff and like what but then God would come in and he's like hey don't let Satan rob you of this joy that I've given you and it was just um, I came here to serve the Lord and that's what I it's what I wanted to do, and so it's what I did. Central Asia has been an amazing experience. I've learned a lot about myself, and God has been teaching me a lot throughout these past three weeks. Um, I've learned a lot about patience and how very important it is to have because of the language barrier here. That has been something that I've been learning a lot. <laughs> Gotta be patient through it all. Um, I've learned a lot about how to really love on people and to encourage them and just to listen to them, honestly. Just be their friend, love on them. I've loved my time here in Central Asia and I would love to come back. I think the biggest highlight for me uh, during this journey was definitely Cement Day. There was a man there who, who couldn't really speak to us. He just kept trying his best to communicate to a friend of mine, uh, me and Andres, and uh, he just couldn't, couldn't really do it. We, he kept mumbling, trying to speak English, but he just he could, didn't have enough experience with English to do it. So he grabbed a stick and went to a puddle of mud and wrote in perfect English, Jesus is my life. And that blew me away. Um, it just astounded me. And so a challenge that is for me and a challenge I leave to you, whoever sees this video is, is Jesus your life?
My favorite experience from being here was probably when one of the older ladies that I had been talking with, um, on the last day that she saw me, she came up to me and she's like, my heart is with you always. And it just reminded me that we are making an impact here and so it's great to just be able to hear that from her. I've learned to have more dependency on God, not through my strength, but through His. And I feel like this experience has just fueled my desire to serve His kingdom and uh, His purpose for the nations. One of the main things I learned here was how to rely on God for strength for everything and ability for everything. And also, I also learned the importance and my need for His strength. Um, in every circumstance. On this journey, God's taught me a lot. Um, the locals here have such big hearts for people and they're very relational. Um, we would spend hours just drinking tea and talking and that really challenged me to just um, learn how to find time for people. Um, I find that in the States sometimes I get caught up in being busy and worrying about um, school and just my own things. and. I just really learned to um, engage in, with people and to love people better and just uh, learn to take the time to um, build friendships, build relationships and um, I've had a great journey here and I have uh, fallen in love with the people and I hope to uh, come back hopefully sometime in the future.